Hello folks, this is Ash from PyTrice.com and today we have the OnePlus One with the latest update to the Cyanogen OS 13 update. This is the official Android Marshmallow update for the OnePlus One which is quite an old phone now. We also have the OnePlus 3 right now in the market so the OnePlus One is quite an old smartphone but still it has got the update to the latest version which has the build version ZNH0EAS. 26M and it has bumped up the version of Marshmallow to Android 6.0.1. This is quite a good update and a lot of changes have been made to this one. You can see that the overall UI etc also has taken quite a upgrade and everything looks quite good enough and the advanced options is not available anymore under the about phone section right now and you can see that the customization options have increased a little bit more and you should be able to see all of the options by default in the settings application so that's something good in the lock screen modification settings you also have the happening on twitter and few other things so that's quite good and you can see the apps optimized by dose by going to settings battery and the three dot menu and then you can go to the battery optimization and every the every permission etc has been made sure that you can reach that very easily every time you install an application in android marshmallow so permissions etc have been made quite good and the android marshmallow experience is quite good you also get this small game which was touted as one of the flappy bird variants and i never managed to score maybe even one on this game so that's something very bad about me and now True color displays ID of unknown numbers in the SMS application as well as in the call logs. That's something good. The update has removed quick pin unlock because according to Cyanogen, it was something which could be exploited very badly. And you can see the memory management also has improved a little bit. And now the quick setting op options have multiple pages. You can swipe left and right and all of that. And you can rearrange also. So that's something good. You will no longer get screen color settings under live display option and there's no horizontal app draw scrolling in the trebuchet and overall lot of things have changed and you get few more customization options on the oneplus one smartphone the cyanogen os 13 update is not yet fully stable i would like to repeat that it's not yet fully stable and by fully stable i mean to say that uh, we had some battery issues with this update we had few more issues with this update regarding the stability of few applications and you can customize what you want to have in the status bar you can do this by going to settings status bar status bar icons and there is now a new option to launch your camera application by just pressing the power button twice for the camera and you can also trigger the hidden demo mode settings menu just tap the build date under the about phone option for three times and overall few more things have been changed the theme engine now supports live lock screens cyanogen os 13 has now built in live lock screens which are quite good and which we showed you before in this up update video itself and i would like to say sorry for the extreme amount of noise that is in my background i can't do nothing about that and few other things have improved the camera does seem a little bit improved and when you try to call somebody you get better options now and you also have the options to you can see that the true color integration is quite good over here and apart from that you also have the option to choose whether you want to dial via your sim or via the via the sky skype dialer so that's also something good that has been added now in the cyanogen os 13 and few other options are available but they would require you to root your smartphone which is an okay procedure but still as you can see over here you can choose between your sim or skype while dialing someone so that's a nice neat upgrade and what all we would like to tell you about this is that the OS has seen some dramatic changes but it's not still completely refined. So guys this is all for this video. In case you like this one don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and 
do make sure that you update your oneplus one to the latest version because it still is quite good enough though there are few bugs here and there but still it would improve your oneplus one experience to quite a huge degree so guys this was it for this one don't forget to hit the thumbs up this is ayatan ajha from inspiredrise.com signing off folks stay inspired to rise